Welcome back, Drill Freak Nation, and today is the start of our new Power Golf series. And we're going to talk about connection, extension, and rotation in this three part series. So sit back, let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's talk about connection. All right, you've probably seen this before. You know, you'll see guys on the tour, some, they'll grab their towel or someone on the range at your local, uh, in your local area, driving range or wherever, and they're using a towel. Some guys will even use, let's say, the head covers and they'll stick it under one arm or maybe both arms. So what I'm going to propose, though, is something a little bit different. And right now I have what is to be a little dish sponge. I have had it cut in half. You can see right in here, and I'm going to put one under my lead arm. And you can, put, you can put them under both just so you can start feeling a little bit more connected in the swing. And we use this a lot. We'll go back and forth, lead arm, trailing arm, and we have our students hitting shots, small shots, or even working with our swing trainer uh, just to feel better connection. Another thing you can do, a great favorite of mine, is even a golf tee. Just put a, a golf tee underneath the lead arm or both arms and just work on keeping those tees in while you're making little mock swings or if you're going to hit balls, nice, some nice little short shots just so you can feel more connected. One of the reasons why I like both of these is the feedback that you get and then when you move without having them in there, you're going to feel like they're still there versus the bulkier ones where once you remove them you know they're not there. It's a little different feel and this way it's a cool segue from this to just swinging and keeping those arms close to your sides. So. What we're going to do now is, I have my swing trainer here, and if you don't have one, we sell them, drillfreakgolf.com. And these are really, really, it's a great tool for all your drills, especially in, inside. And when it's raining, when it's cold, throw it in your bag. It's a great warm-up tool as well. Uh, so you can check below on the link, and uh, we can get you one of these. So right now, we're going to talk a little bit about connection, but I'm also going to talk a little bit about making sure that me being a right-handed player, in my trailing arm, my right arm, is not in a position where it's, it's connected, but it's stuck. And I, I can show you right there. You'll see a lot of guys and gals, they get that arm in that way back there into their, their right hip, and then they can't, they can't release the club head. And what happens at that point is they get stuck, and it's a block to the right. It's a slice. Uh, we don't, we're not looking for that. So I'm going to give you a neat li uh, little trick here, what we can do is we're going to try to get this arm not to be back here, to your, way back in your side, but to keep it more on the inner part of your right oblique. So we're going to take a modified version of Mr. Ben Hogan, what he would do. He would take that right arm of his and he would just bury it right over his right side. Okay, and I, now I have it really glued to my right pectoral muscle and I'm just making little short little swings and I'm slowly moving into my golf posture position and then working on connection that way. So it's a good way to feel like that right arm and elbow is more over your chest than behind it. We don't want to get stuck. And you're going to find out too as we move through to the next part, the extension, uh, extension part, that it's going to allow us to really get in there and get some pretty cool ball speed by something called an extensory motion into the golf ball and that'll be on the part two of this but let's go back to being connected again make sure that the lead arm is really close to your sides coming in and we want to make sure coming down you can see right there uh, my my trailing elbow my right elbow is is leading uh, my lead elbow down in the golf swing and we want that we want that as we come through we don't want to be stuck we want to make sure that we keep that arm that tricep and that that elbow more inside your right oblique because that's going to help us in part two getting all that extension. So hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the first part of our connection. And again, feel free to send out any comments, any questions you guys have to our YouTube channel. Um, so we'll catch you guys back again for day two, and that's going to be extension. And peace and love, and we'll catch you guys back again.